the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello viewers, welcome back to this channel. The headlines. Cement sells for 11,000 Naira in Lagos. Moving on after this, we have President Bolamir Tinobu to visit quarter as planned despite rejection report. But before we proceed with this news, welcome to Reality Letters, this your home of news or politics. Thank you all so much for joining us. Please like and share this video and also subscribe. But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when I to drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. You can send in your comments and keep the conversation lively in our comment section. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us. Despite the agreement reached with the manufacturer that cement should be sold for 7000 the product is still being sold for between 10000 and 11000 in the Demo area of Lagos State. A retailer simply identified as a large said that the cement should sell for 7000 This It's just a hoax. According to Alaji, it's a dangote block of the payment portals while negotiations were on with federal government and by the time it was reopened, the price was hike again. She said even Boa, which was selling for 3500 was the first to hike prices. In fact, the dangote payment portal was blocked last week only for them to reopen it and the price was increased by another 400 all this noise of 7000 years in the media is not real but we pray and hope they bring down the price soon enough because this price hike is really slowing down business another athlete did not have any stock on ground the owner who pleaded for anonymity collaborated a large saying that at this point that they don't know what else to do that cement is off limits for now because they don't even know how to restock that the 7000 price that was placed on the news is unreal that the price was increased by 400 after manufacturer met with the government so they hope things turn to normal as soon as possible it's quite funny because we all knew when this meant was sold for five thousand naira a bag hey <laughs> but let's say everything or they get new price exchange rate is gradually coming down going by all the government intervention i think price of cement need to drop I thought federal government agree with the cement manufacturers to sell between 7k and 8,000. How can you float exchange rates and want to dictate price of commodities? Honestly, the way things are going up eh, is something else. <laughs> Let them not go and reduce the quality of the cement. Make houses no go collapse after one month. Some persons are curious. They are asking what Dangote is doing about the current price of cement because cement way that they produce for Nigeria come cross past the one they do distribute to the neighboring countries cement should go back to 5800 Nigerians can't be suffering and smiling I don't know why there are only three major cement distributors in the country like us where a lot of development is taking place why not open borders for foreign cement to come in let there be enough competition let them just open the border for cement importation let's see it might reduce the price. Let's see if that will work. Federal government should do something about this. Nigerians, you know, can't bear this anymore. It's too much. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Moving on to the next one. President Bola Tunubu, we visit quarter in March for bilateral discussion as scheduled despite reported rejection by authority of the Asian nation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Yusuf Tuga, who disclosed this say that President Bola Tunubu will visit both quarter and the United Arab Emirates on 2nd and 3rd of March. According to the earlier reports, the Embassy of the State of Quarter in Abuja, in a letter dated February 22, 2024, disclosed that the quarter government will not be able to welcome President Bola Tunubu due to the lack of the legally binding agreement between quarter and Nigeria for the promotion of investment among others. However, in a statement signed by Francisca K. Omayuli Toga, confirmed that President Bola Metunubu will visit Quota, adding that meeting aims to strengthen diplomatic ties between Nigeria and Quota. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed the forthcoming visits by His Excellency President Bola Metunubu to the state of Quota on 2nd to 3rd March, has scheduled that the visit would include bilateral discussion at the highest level across the full range of strategic, diplomatic and economic issues. 
that the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the state of Qatar have a long history of friendship and a close bilateral relations. The forthcoming visit to Doha by President Balame Tinubu will help build on this important relationship. The ministry is also aware of the circulation in the media of diplomatic correspondence and she wishes to confirm that it will not comment on leaks. Honestly, the budget has been signed and released. Even though they meet a company to discuss, but the most travel, Qatar will not reject the president because people with diplomatic passport do not need visa. Just that they make people to know that it's not an official trip. They will not be received by the Qatar authorities. After that leak memo that shows that Qatar declined the proposal investment forum, citing the unavailability of the country's minister of commerce and industry. However, another letter has been sent to the Nigeria government, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, in quarter apologizing for the rejection of the proposed business meeting that the new development was conveyed in a memo stated February 23, 2024, from the quarter embassy and it was addressed to Nigeria Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now, the embassy has the honor to convey that the quarter chamber of commerce will host the above-mentioned event on 3rd March 2024, as proposed by the Nigeria side. I feel that there is nothing like your turn. If they didn't give them green light to come, it would have been a fruitless effort to think they can schedule a meeting with quarter president by chance. It just looks as if our country is becoming a laughing stock in the global politics. This is the country that President Kennedy of the US sent his presidential fleet to convey then Nigerian's Prime Minister. Tafawa Balewa and his cabinet for a state visit. Now we are being rejected as our own leprosy. So many persons are asking that the president is wasting the resources that we don't have and he's still wasting the little one we have. That if they can host him now, that he should wait till the date suitable for the both parties to host each other. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to with us. We really do appreciate it. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when we drop our video. But I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to with us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. To like on your way next. Stay safe, guys. Bye.